So Rochdale 13 with Alan Kilshaw ahead of a trip to Wakefield on, on Sunday where you'll be facing Sheffield Eagles. Uh, first off, I just want to touch on the Swinton Lions victory on the day. You called it a gutsy win. Um, how did it look on view? Yeah, good, mate. Um, just that intent from the first two sets was there. and We did some little things that, that go a long way. You know, our kick pressure, uh, our line speed. We made a lot of marker tackles. Um, completions were up in the 80s and you know, there was a couple there uh, where we you know, kicked out on the full last play we had a try disallowed and you know, a couple of calls maybe that were 50-50 that, that we didn't get um, and we would have been close to 90% to completion which is good in that weather and, and in a pressure game you know we put it on the lads and we spoke about that last week and they turned up and they delivered and um, you know it's, it's, it's a happy camp um, or Tuesday it was we put that to bed now and we're, we're we're fully focused on, on these last two games. We want to we want to build on, on that performance. We feel we've not um, you know performed consistently well in the Super Eights, which is disappointing because you know we finished quite well. I think we'd finished with something like you know two out of the last three wins and we that Bradford up a game up as well and a couple of close losses. So we want to finish you know with a bit of consistency and finish how we start the season really. And during the first half, you, you lost. What I thought was one of the best players on the field in, in Ant Walker to injury. Uh, how's he holding up? Yeah, look, not good. He won't play again th this year. Yeah, it was a bad concussion. Um, you know, more of a delayed one. He actually stayed on for a little bit, and he was getting monitored by the doctor. And uh, you know, his stats were really good considering he'd, he'd only played a, you know, thirty minutes. Um, but no, Ant won't play again this year, and uh, it's you know that. Scenario that we've been getting the last few weeks, we, we, we lose, we get a couple back and then we lose one. So we'll be, um, I think we're at a bare 18 again this weekend, but you know, those 18 blocks will, will be, you know, all ready and, and ready to rip in. And you, you've made it clear that you feel you've been harshly treated at times by, by the disciplinary panel, and, and obviously the incident with, with Ant Walker has, has gone unpunished. How do you feel when one of your players is being put out for the season, as you mentioned, and, and nothing's coming of it? Yeah, a lot of spoken at length today with a member of the, the review panel, um, just to educate myself really, so I can educate my players on, on, on you know some of these decisions or on decisions that are going against us or on we feel being unpunished. Um, but the elbow, you know, it's it's easy to argue that it was a ball carrying out uh, that that's done on there. Um, I suppose the difficulty is that there's only one camera angle at this level. Um, you know the camera was on the opposite side. You know the the, the side where the, the stand wasn't open. You know, you know from from my view, you know which was the other side on the day. I thought it was it was a, a an elbow. Uh, obviously that's been reviewed. Um, you know what what happened after that. You know a player tapping a player who's on the floor concussed for me needs to be outlawed in the game. And um, you know that's probably my disappointment more than anything that that's gone unpunished. Uh, you know, I've been assured that um, that player's been given a letter and a warning. Um, but you know, like you say, uh, if it was a Rochdale player, then you know that's. Or if that does happen, then hopefully there'll be some consistency in the future. And um, moving on to this weekend's game with Sheffield, you've been up against them twice this year, and there have been some tough losses. What have you learned from them two games? Yeah, look, Good Friday we were we were pretty off. Um, in all areas and they're a big set and you give them a lot of ball and, and they're going to physically drain you and they can play you know um, they've changed their style a little bit they're playing a lot more now with the ball with some of the players they brought in the second game we played and probably the score didn't reflect you know it was 8-6 at half time and we just come out and we were poor starters in that second half for whatever reason you know we got it back to 30-20 and we had a couple of opportunities in that game and um, you know we could have made it Know, difficult for Sheffield um, so you know we need to stay in that grind with them they're a team throw the ball around um, but they'll come up with errors as well so um, you know they've got some major threats they're a big set but they're coming off the back of a couple of losses and um, so they'll be smarting but we've got to aim up and ramp up and if we play with that you know desire that intent and that aggression that we had on on Sunday against Swindon and um, that's all I can ask off, off the lads, you know, uh, it's that time of year where everyone's pretty busted, but the game's important, you know, we don't feel we're safe yet, there's, there's four points to get and we want to get them, 
Um, and like I say, we, we start the season with two wins. Be good to finish it with three. Um, so, you know, we're, we're looking forward to the challenge. It's a tough challenge. They're a good side, like I say, they've got some good players, but, um, you know, we're up for it. And you mentioned you, you busted and, and it's been tough with, with injuries of, of late, but are you putting it on the players now to finish strong in, in these last two away games? Yeah, like I say, we, we're not putting the cue in the rack. Um, we don't want to rely on the Oldham and Swindon result or their results. We want to be safe and we want to get as many points as we can and finish up as high in the table as we can. And we can't finish any higher than ninth now. Um, but I feel like we finished ninth. It's been a successful year, you know, for the club. You know, with the constraints we've been under, we've done it tough. We've done it tough. There's, there's no doubt about that. You know, there's been some, you know, games where calls have gone against us, which you get. We've had a lot of injuries. Um, you know, our partner clubs had a lot of injuries, so we've not been able to call on, on, on dual regs as much as we would have done to cover those injuries. And you know, we're coming with a small squad with a small budget. So if we can finish ninth, and that's the aim, it will be a very successful season for Rochdale. Um, like I say, there's four points to get to get. Um, Sheffield this week is going to be difficult, but yeah. We can tough it out. The players can play her and busted. Everyone else is like this time of year, and you know we've got two weeks left. And you know ultimately the team will be different next year. People will move on. People will come in. So it's you know the last couple of games, the last few sessions that this group will spend together, and we need to celebrate that and enjoy each other's company, which we've done since November. Enjoy the last couple of games and, and go to Sheffield. Really switched on to perform, and I'm sure there'll be a good following at, Sh at Wakefield. You know behind the lads and we want to put in a, a good away performance for those people as well. And the injury updates have been pretty bleak of late, is there any good news this week? Um, oh, just pal free Greenwood will come in, um, we won't have Walker uh, from last week um, and, and that'll, be, that'll be it really, there's, there's, <laughs> there's no other um, people coming back, say John O's out for the year with you know, that third concussion and that badly broken nose, Moore's is suspended. Gaz Middleworth's broken form, um, Rob, uh, obviously, uh, personal reasons, um, and you know, Ratu probably not going to play either, you know, with the long term injury. So, like you say, we're a little bit bare bones, but um, ultimately, why it was such an important win last week to get those points on the board. Um, but you know, I'm sure Sheffield will be in the same boat, and, and Bradford as well. So. Um, like I say, the, the 18 blokes who, who, who uh, you know, in the frame for this weekend are, are excited to play and um, we're ready to go.